Have you ever stopped to ask why U.S. fighter jets are gray and not camouflaged? This question might not be as straightforward as it seems. When we picture a fighter jet, we often imagine a sleek gray machine piercing the sky. But have you ever wondered why that is? Why aren't these formidable birds of prey decked out in camouflage like their ground-based counterparts? The common misconception is that fighter jets are uniformly gray, but that's not always the case. The color of a fighter jet isn't just a matter of aesthetics, it's a carefully considered decision that has evolved over time, influenced by everything from the environment to the advancement in technology. Our mission today is to unravel this intriguing query. We're going to explore the evolution of fighter jet color schemes, examining the practicality behind these choices and how they've changed over the decades. So let's dive into the colorful history of fighter jets. In the early days of aviation, the color of a fighter jet was not just a matter of aesthetics. It was a crucial decision, often tipping the scales between victory and defeat. The hues adorning these sky warriors were carefully chosen, taking into account a myriad of practical considerations, not least of which were camouflage and identification. Early fighter jets, especially those that saw action during the World Wars, were often painted in shades that would allow them to blend seamlessly with their environment. Camouflage was king in those days, with the intent of making the aircraft as invisible as possible to the enemy. Green, brown, and a mix of the two were common choices. These colors mirrored the landscapes over which most aerial battles took place. Fields, forests, and other vegetation-heavy terrains were the usual backdrops of these skyward skirmishes, and a green or brown jet could easily disappear against such a backdrop. Identification was another crucial factor in deciding the color scheme of early fighter jets. Side markings and insignia were used not just for national pride, but as an essential tool for friend or foe identification. During the heat of battle, these markings could mean the difference between a friendly wave and a deadly barrage of gunfire. Yet it wasn't all about blending in. Some fighter jets, particularly those used for special missions, sported contrasting color schemes. Night bombers, for example, were often coated in black or dark blues to merge with the night sky, while maritime patrol aircraft were painted in shades of gray and white to match the color of ocean waves. The color palette of these early fighter jets was a blend of practicality and necessity, a testament to the ingenuity of their designers. It was an era where the art of deception played as much a role as the science of aerodynamics in the design of these metal birds. But as technology advanced, so did the color schemes of fighter jets. With the advent of radar and other detection systems, the importance of visual camouflage started to diminish, paving the way for a new era in fighter jet color schemes. As we moved into the jet age, the color of fighter jets underwent a significant shift. Gone were the days of bold camouflage patterns, replaced instead by a uniform hue that seemed almost dull in comparison, gray. This wasn't a change made lightly, nor was it done for aesthetic reasons. Instead, this was a strategic move driven by the evolving needs of aerial combat. In the early days of aviation warfare, planes often operated at low altitudes, where a camouflage pattern helped them blend into the landscape below. But as technology advanced, fighter jets began soaring to greater heights. At these altitudes, a camouflage pattern was less effective, even counterproductive. Instead, the aircraft needed to blend with the sky, and gray was the perfect fit for this task. The introduction of radar technology further reinforced the need for a subtle color scheme. Radar doesn't care about flashy colors or intricate patterns. It bounces radio waves off objects, detecting their presence and location regardless of their color. In this new age of warfare, being unseen was more about evading radar detection than visually blending into the background. The practicality of the gray color scheme for US fighter jets is undeniable. It offers the best compromise between visibility and radar reflectivity. The gray color helps to diffuse radar signals, making the aircraft harder to detect. Additionally, it blends well with the sky during both day and night operations, providing an added layer of visual stealth. Furthermore, a single color scheme simplifies maintenance and reduces costs. With a uniform color, any part of the plane can be replaced without worrying about matching patterns or hues. This is especially useful in the field, where quick repairs are often necessary. So, the rise of gray fighter jets was not a random choice, but a carefully considered decision a testament to the ever-evolving tactics and technologies of aerial warfare. Gray became the new norm, but it's not the only color on the block. While gray is the color of choice for the US, other nations have their own preferences. Let's take a journey around the world to look at some of these different schemes. Russia, for instance, often opts for a green and brown camouflage on their jets. 
This earthy palette not only blends with the vast Siberian forest, but also offers an advantage in various terrestrial environments. On the other hand, Israeli jets commonly sport a blue and white scheme, reflecting the hues of the Mediterranean skies and the white architecture that dots the landscape. This color choice provides an edge in aerial combat and surveillance operations, seamlessly blending with the sky above and the cityscapes below. Other nations, too, have their unique choices, all influenced by their geographical locations, climatic conditions, and tactical considerations. Whether it's the sandy hues of Middle Eastern countries or the snow white of Arctic nations, these color schemes are more than just aesthetic choices. So the color of a fighter jet is not just about looks, it's about practicality and strategic advantage. The color of a fighter jet is a fascinating reflection of aviation history and technology. We've taken a journey through time today, tracing the evolution of fighter jet color schemes. We've seen how early color schemes were vibrant and varied, often reflecting the national pride and identity of the countries they represented. As technology evolved, so did the color of fighter jets. The rise of gray fighter jets in the U.S. was not a random choice, but a strategic decision based on the need for stealth and camouflage in a wide range of environments. Similarly, we've explored the diverse color schemes of fighter jets from other nations, each reflecting their unique strategic needs and technological advancements. So as we conclude, we realize that the color of a fighter jet isn't merely about aesthetics. It's a critical element in the overall strategy of air combat. Next time you see a fighter jet, remember, its color is more than just a paint job. It's a strategic choice born out of a rich history of aviation.